You know what I was in? When I was an intern on your show, I was a control room intern, and the one of the jobs, in addition to getting coffee, and people always go, oh, you got coffee for Conan? Oh, I wish. I got, co I got coffee for Jordan Schlansky. Yes, Jordan Schlansky. I always keep a photo of him nearby. Jordan Schlansky has become uh, a oddly revered... <laughs> A revered and reviled figure because we started putting Jordan, this is long after you were on the show as an intern, but we started putting him on the air because we found him so odd and strange and kind of elitist and robotic. And we started putting him on the show everywhere I go now, everywhere I go, people say, where's Jordan? <laughs> is Jordan real? So you can tell everybody, Mike, you worked directly underneath Jordan as an intern. He was my main, he was my boss. Tell us, tell, us, tell people what he's really like. What I like best about Jordan, what I like least about Jordan is it always seemed like he didn't like me. <laughs> he does give that impression. He always he does get it. In the, but in the end, on my last day, he goes, if you ever need a recommendation, here's my number. Here's my number. I go, oh, I guess he did like me. I don't know. I can't read this guy. Yeah, I think he wanted to trap you in some weird situation. <laughs> so then the, what I'm I like I'm best I'm being honest about with him. you. When he says, give me your number, here's my number, call me to an intern. You know, you just, <laughs> you just have to be careful. That's all you have to do. So, so the, what I like best about Jordan Schlansky, and I asked if I could say this on air because I thought this was sensitive material, is that like he'd come back from these like very social weekends and everyone would go, Jordan, what'd you do over the weekend? And he would go like, well, me and my friends would go, we, we, we went into the mountains and we all got completely naked and then we sort of jogged around for a little while. And everyone would be like, what? And then he'd be like, well, we got completely naked and jogged, wait, what? Like literally like the what and him explaining it again kept happening over and over again for about 40 minutes. Yeah, what people uh, think so many people have seen the videos I've done with him and they think that it's an act and that he's a character. It's not. He really is that guy. And I can totally see him saying, yes, the body is beautiful. It is natural. And he, he talks like Spock. The body is beautiful. It is natural. There's nothing sexual at all about these encounters. We just yes. like our bodies to be free. We like our bodies to be in nature. Yes. And so yes. we like to move through space and time using our bodies and we don't want to be encumbered by clothing so <laughs> what a weird guy and you're Did, not even exaggerating i mean that's what's amazing about it and oh, the reason why i think i thought he didn't like me this is my proof is that one day they brought in someone brought in and handed out conan and conan o'brien insignia golf balls and it's a late night with Conan O'Brien why game I don't I don't play golf <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> some idiot made those I don't that I don't know it was not me but I guess someone made those yeah so they handed them I, out I hand them out I go Jordan I go do you think I could have a sleeve of Conan O'Brien golf balls and he looks at me and he goes no <laughs> what and so and so what I so Conan what I got for you today is a gift and, and, and they yeah, can give this it to you just, over there. This just uh, was handed to me just before you started, uh, before you came online. I don't hold a grudge. Look at I that. I don't hold a grudge. That is a... <laughs> <laughs> that is a Mike Brabiglia golf ball. Now, let me understand. You asked, what, 15, 20 years ago if you could have yes. a Conan O'Brien right. golf ball, and you were told by Jordan Schlansky, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. And then you do this? Not for you. No, and that's when I knew as an unpaid intern, <laughs> that's when I knew as an unpaid intern, intern what my place was. Uh, yeah. He was letting you know. Yeah. That's so kind of you. Can I ask you a question? Did yeah, you please. Just, did you just write your name on pen on this golf ball? Because <laughs> it looks suspiciously <laughs> like that. <laughs> That's a limited edition set, and it's uh, priceless sure it as far as I understand it. So maybe donate that one to charity.